Hello, welcome to Create Together. I'm Kim and I'm an art instructor at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. For today's project, we're going to explore wildlife and learn how to sew in order to make animal patches. For inspiration, we'll get started by taking a look at an artwork in the Crystal Bridges permanent collection. So gather around and get ready to join me in your own collaborative studio. Today, we are inspired by an artist named Andy Warhol. Look at each image carefully. How would you describe the colors used in these artworks? What facts do you know about these animals? How might these animals interact with each other? All these animal images are part of a bigger series of work called Endangered Species. A species is a group of animals, plants, or other living things that all share common characteristics. An animal or plant is endangered when there are so few left alive on the planet that the entire species is in danger of vanishing forever. When a species is completely gone and no longer surviving on Earth, it is considered extinct. After talking with political and environmental activists, Andy Warhol used screen printing to represent 10 animals in risk of disappearing. He made 150 prints of each animal, creating a total of 1,500 prints. He even donated 100 of these prints to help wildlife conservation organizations raise money for their causes, like protecting the land for animals to live on. Through his use of large images and bright colors, Warhol turned these endangered animals into icons that would bring awareness to their existence and habitats. What animals have you seen? What kind of environment do they need to survive? What are ways you can help the environment be a better place for everyone? Today, I'll be showing you how to sew and make an animal patch. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. For this project, you'll need to find these materials in your kit. Drawing paper, iron-on adhesive sheets, colored burlap, yarn, pencils, plastic needles, and adhesive safety pens. And you'll need a couple of materials from home, such as cardboard or paper, scissors, and a clothes iron, which is optional. All right, let's get started. Sewing is an important skill to learn because it helps you create and repair anything made of fabric. By repairing your belongings, you make them last longer, which helps the environment by reducing waste. Each person in your group can create a patch to sew on by cutting out a square of colored burlap. The square should be no smaller than six inches by six inches. Think about an animal you care about. Draw a simple outline of your animal on drawing paper. What facial features and body parts does your animal have? You can practice sewing on spare burlap before you sew onto your animal design. Start by threading the needle. Place the yarn through the eye of the needle. Pull a couple of inches through the eye and leave this short strand loose. With the long end of the yarn, tie a double knot around a strand of burlap on the back side. Create a running stitch to outline the shapes and details of your animal. Poke the needle through the back side of your animal design. Pull the entire strand of yarn through. Then insert the needle through the same side that the yarn is coming out of. Turn over the animal design. Pull the yarn all the way through until it catches. Don't pull too hard or the yarn will slip out the needle. Experiment with creating rows of stitches that are right next to each other to create a more solid shape or further away to create dotted lines. Repeat the running stitch until you have completed outlining your shape. When you reach the end of a yarn strand, make a double knot or tie on a new piece of yarn. Rethread your needle whenever you switch to a different yarn. When you are finished sewing, tie one last knot. Then, trim your design and iron-on adhesive sheet to make a desired size patch. Using no steam and medium heat, iron the trimmed adhesive sheet to the back side of your animal patch. Your iron will touch the paper side of the iron-on adhesive while the textured side touches the burlap. Let it cool down a bit before peeling off the white paper. 
attach your animal patch by ironing it directly to a hat, backpack, or tote bag. We have completed our animal patches. You can further explore this project by learning more about the animals you care about. Go to your local library and borrow some books, or borrow a computer and research online. Think about ways you can better the environment for all living things. This can be as simple as learning how to put the right things in recycling, or reusing an old object. Take a photo or video of your animal patches and post it on social media with the hashtag CreateTogetherKit. Thanks for joining me, y'all. See you next time. If you want to see more artwork with animals, take a look at Martin Johnson Heat's painting. Similar to Andy Warhol, Martin Johnson Heat looked at animals in nature to create his artwork. Heat has written about the importance of preserving land and birds while capturing different species in a variety of paintings. How do these animals and plants interact with each other in this image? What species do you see near your home? How are they similar or different to the ones seen here? Talk about these questions with your group and continue to explore the world around you.